of the good fellowship. I got another gift I want to give you. Do you know the fever is getting back into tonight, just a few minutes? Now I got a gift for you. At the end of the service, a real good gift. Come on, she's going. She's cranked up. Finally got cranked up. How many more are finally going to crank up? How many is going to get up? How many is going to stand up? How many is going to get going for God? God's still God tonight. Oh, shabba ba 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 Heal him, oh, come and die. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, uh, you know I love to preach to people that's got something. I don't like her. Now, there's one thing I ask God to never ask me to do. That's pastor of backslidden church. God help me to never have to do it. I want to preach to one that's on fire. And if you hang around here, I'll get you on fire, run you off. Because that thing's catching. If you sit with dead, you sit with the dead, you become dead as the dead. How many believe that? Honey, sit with the living. If they go dead next door to you, get up and find you somebody living. Paint yourself every night and then to see if you're still living. Clap your hands out for you the victory. Turn your Bible to the book of Ezekiel. Hallelujah. The wonderful, he's named in the Bible as wonderful four-faced man. That's what his name was called. Wonderful four-faced man. Turn with me to the 47th chapter of the book of Ezekiel. Afterwards, he brought me again into the door of the house. And behold, waters issued out from under the threshold of the house eastward. For the forefront of the house stood toward the east, and the waters came down from under the right side of the house, at the south side of the altar. Then he brought me out of the way to the gate northward, and led me about the way, said, without unto the, the utter gate, said, by the way that looketh eastward, and behold, that ran out the waters on the right side. Here you are. When the man that had the line in his hand, careful, had to be an angel, went forth eastward and measured a thousand cubits and brought me through the waters, and the waters were to my ankles. Now, I hope to move you. Just give me about 15 minutes, and I'll try to get you some deeper stuff. You're in too shallow of water. How many feel this tonight? How many want to get in some deeper waters? How many is tired of fishing in shallow water where the, you, there's little fish? How many want to get your nets on the right side where there's some big fish? How many really want to go fishing? How many really like to get in some water that's real water? You know, it would have took me another hour this morning, 45 minutes at least, to brought that to conclusion where you would have really got the goodie out of it. The next 45 minutes was the goodies. The nuggets was in that. But I know you had enough, had all you could take, had all you could stand. Some of you couldn't take that much. But boy, we was pouring it on. If you don't believe, get it on one of the videos and carry it home with you. But listen to me, it'll help you now. When the going gets rough and the rough gets going, how many believe this? You need to get yourself trained to get out of shallow water. Get away from people that's shallow. They think shallow. They talk shallow. They walk shallow. And to be frankly, they are shallow. Get away from them. Let them alone. Don't even sit with them. Praise God. Say, I'm going to leave them behind. I'm going, I'm going deeper. Say, I'm going deeper. I mean, I'm going deeper in God. I'm going deeper waters. I'm going to, I'm going to get my net on the right side. And I'm going where the big fish are. I'm going fishing. And I'm going to get into waters. And I'm going to get out of my ankles. I'm going to get out of that water. That's from my ankles. I'm tired of that shallow water. How many want some deeper, deeper waters? Praise God. The angel met him. And when he met him, 
the angel had a line in his hand. And the Bible said, the angel took him by the hand. And I love this, he led him through the waters. You gotta be led through the waters. We are led, we're not driven, goats are driven. Sheep are led. Jesus is a shepherd. He'll lead his sheep. Where he leads me, there I follow. And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies, and thou anointest my head with oil. And I got news, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Clap your hands, I feel victory. The angel said, how deep you want to go? He took through that line a thousand cubits, 1,800 feet. Come on. Let him, got him with a hand, and let Zeke through the waters. That's a long ways. Looked like it was a long ways out there. Looked like he was going summers, but he wasn't getting nowhere. A lot of you sitting on the seat and look like you're going summers and you ain't going nowhere. So there is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. How many want to go up? You don't want to go down. How many want to get moving for God? And let's get rolling. Clap your hands for the victory. He led him through the waters. But the thing about it, when the line run out, the line run out, there was no more line. He stopped, and the water was just to his ankles. He looked around. He come a long ways. Looked like he had. Looked like he come a long ways, but he was still in water, just to his ankles. Some of you don't want to go no deeper. That's enough. You want a little bit, but don't want too much. Oh yes. You know what Pharaoh a bargain? You know what Pharaoh bargained with Moses? You can go a little piece, but don't go too far. You can, you can go, but leave your children here. I ain't got no children for the devil. How many believe this tonight? When I go, I'm carrying my children with me. Thank God. The next bargain he made him, you can go, but leave your stock, your cattle here. He said, no, nope. when I go, I'm going. Honey, I'm like, I'm like Moses. When I pull out, I'm pulling out. When the trumpet sounds and Gable blows that trumpet, I'm getting out of here. How many is going with me? It'll sound so loud. It'll wake up the dead. And honey, the dead in Christ will rise first. And we all going to be changed and caught up together in the clouds. How many going with me? How many want to get out of that shallow water? How many want to get in deeper water? Praise God for victory. I run into people that they're satisfied coming to church. They, they, every time the doors open, they sit in the same seat and they do the little, whatever they're going to do, they do a little, little thing. They get no with it. They're still in that water to their ankles. They ain't going no deeper. I don't care how hard you preach, how much you prophesy, you ain't going to move them. They're going to sit there. You can say, stand up, and they'll sit down. You can say, sit down, and they'll stand up. They would be backwards or die. How many people say amen? But thank God, God's coming a time. He's going to get a prophet. His prophet going to prophesy you out of your seats. He's going to move that thing on. He's going to get you out of your valley of dry bones. He's going to put that bone together. Ever The old ankle bone's coming to the leg bone. The old leg bone is coming to the knee bone. The old knee bone is coming to the thigh bone. The old thigh bone is coming to the backbone. And God's going to raise up an army. They're coming out of here. Honey, we got an army. And we're coming out of here we're putting it together we're getting it together we're going through the waters how many is going through the waters clap your hands now he said have you got enough he said how much more you got God's got plenty more for you there ain't no end to this you never learn it all 
I don't care who you are. You say, oh, I'm educated. I've been saved 40 years. I'm in the way. That's the trouble. Some of you are in the way. How many believe that? Get out the way. Let somebody else come through the gate. You stood in the door long enough. Honey, get out. Get out. Get up. Stand up and be counted. It's time that God's army get the battle together and let's go to war. Let's go to war. The war. The war is coming. I, I feel it. It's in the air. Honey, your, your shouting on my coattail is about over. I'm going to believe that. Brother, if you've not got it and can't pray for yourself and you can't pray the prayer of faith when you get sick for yourself, you'll die. God's going to have hospitals like Paxson Revival Center and they're going to come in here and the lame's going to walk and the dumb's going to talk. The signs are going to follow. Then they believe they're going to come from the north. They're going to come from the south. They're going to come from the east. They're going to come from the west. They're going to fly in here on airplanes. They're going to drive for miles and miles. Incurable diseases. They can't be cured. But God's going to have a few prophets, a few soul winning stations, and a few fireballs that can command the devil to come out of you and command sickness to go back to hell and get out of that shallow water. When you get ready to get out of that a shallow water and get in some deeper water, you're going to get your deliverance until you do, you're not. And you're going to sit right there and you're going to die. But thank God for victory. I'm getting out of all shallow waters. I want to go deeper. If you want to go deeper, clap your hands. I feel the victory. I can't stand people that satisfied. You never get saved. Get satisfied. Praise God. Get saved and get sanctified. Don't get saved and crankified, but get sanctified. Separated from the world. Come ye out from among them and touch not the unclean things. I'll be your God. And you'll be my sons and daughters. Am I preaching tonight? Boy, Ezekiel looked at the angel. And the angel said, Ezekiel, it's left up to you. Do you want to go a little further? Do you want to go further? Yeah. Ezekiel said, yeah, I believe I'll try it a little further. I want a little more. I want a little more. Do you want a little more? Or do you want a whole lot more? Come on, saints. Make your mind up. You can get what you want. As much as you want. Yeah. All you got to do is within yourself. Say, I'm going to rise up. I've been sick of being sick. I've been in a wheelchair. I've been on a crutch. I've been on a cane, but I'm coming off of it. I'm going to use my faith. Live or die. A saint, swim or drown. I'm going to get my deliverance. I'm going to get my healing. I'm going where the action is taking place. I'm tired of shallow water. I'm tired of shallow preaching. I'm on some deep things, and God's going to wheel it around and turn it around, and God's going to add years unto your life. He's going to move the afflictions off of you that was up on the Egyptians. He's going to bring you forth with silver and with gold. And there won't be one feeble one among your tribes. Let me preach tonight. My God, get out of that a shallow water and let's go deeper. Praise God. Oh, I felt the Holy Ghost moving tonight. Thank God. Ezekiel said, yeah, I made my mind up. I believe I'll go a little further. I'm going a little further with this. I'll never forget when I changed churches. Thank God and I got saved. Thank God. Hell, I was in a plant, working in a plant with a little cross-eyed boy that was full of it. Now listen, Peter was full of it. Full of what? Full of the Holy Ghost. James was full of the Holy Ghost. Paul was full of the Holy Ghost. Jesus was full of the Holy Ghost. Are you full? Are you running over? Is your cup half full tonight? David said, the Lord anointed my head with all and my cup runneth over. Is your cup running over tonight? If your cup ain't running over, you shouldn't be satisfied. You in water to your ankles. You in water to your ankles. Get out of there. Get up and go further. And let's go. Get the man with the line. And let the man lead you to the waters. You ain't getting no words until the man or God sends an angel to you and gets you but a hand and throw that line another thousand cubits and lead you out in some deeper waters and let's get out there. Let's go out there where he leads me. There I follow and what God wants me to do. I'm ready to do it. I'll shout on a short notice. I'll run with Elijah. I'll dance with David. Thank God I've come to be fired up. I've come to get up. I I've come to stand up. The battle's on. We'll either win the battle or you're going to lose the battle. Why should we here until you die? Clap your hands. Clap your hands. You know what he done? 
He led him through the waters another thousand cubits. He got there and got to the end of the line. He looked at Ezekiel, looked at the angel, and he looked down. It was just to his knees. I mean, it was a long ways back to the shore. But it looked like he really had a whole lot when he didn't have enough to stand the test. Did you know Peter thought he had enough to stand the test? He said, Peter, you ain't got it. Jesus said, Peter, you ain't got it. He said, Lord, I'm ready to go even with thee to death and to prison. He said, Peter, you ain't got it. You just ain't got it. Honey, sometime your testimony is way up here and your faith is way down here. And you put your testimony up there when you ain't got faith to get up there. God said, equalize that thing and bring it in order. He said, Peter, he said, you ain't got as much as you think you got. What you mean? He said, listen, before the cock crows three times thrice, you will deny me. You will deny me. Before the cock crows, you will deny me. Let me tell you people something right here tonight. Why? He asked Peter that question there and said, Peter, do you love me? And Peter said, yeah, Lord, you know I love you. Feed my little lambs. He said, Peter, again the second time, do you love me? He said, yeah, feed my little lambs. He looked at him the third time and Peter was getting irritable and said, why are you picking on me? Why you keep asking me the question, do I love you? And you know I love you. He said, Peter, do you really love me? He said, yeah. He said, well, feed my sheep. Get up, boy. They ain't another preacher in the world that can preach with you. He said, you may not have come up on a doctor comedian like Paul did, but he said, you was a fisherman. But thank God, when I called you and anointed you, you hit the streets of Jerusalem. And he said, 3,000 souls was one to God. You preached another message, Peter, and 5,000 souls was one to God. 8,000 souls on two messages. I built one of the world's largest churches in Jerusalem. Come on, honey. God's looking for preachers that'll rise up and let the angel get them by the hand and lead them through the waters. Come on. We got to go through the waters. If you know ain't never been to the waters, you got to go through the waters. Clap your hands. I feel victory. You know what? He got to the end of the line. Still to his knees. The angel looked him straight in the eye. Said, Peter, you want some more? How many of you want more tonight? Be honest with yourself. How many want more? How many want more? How many believe God's got it? How many believe God's got it? You've heard it some man. God will give you the grace. How many believe that? But the angel looked at him and said, listen, Ezekiel. You want more? He said, yeah. I kind of like this. I've got over there and got mixed up with them and they're running the aisles and they're leaping for joy and they're clapping their hands. Hallelujah. A little boy the other night, the parents were fixing to go to church and they were trying to make up their mind whether they were going to go that night. They wasn't a, a church member's no place and, and the, they said to this man, and the little boy said, his son said, let me help you make your mind up. Mom and dad, they said, where, are we, where, where would you go? He said, let's go to Dobbs's. He said, why? He said, they sing with their hands. They sing with their hands. The Bible said, clap your hands and make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Play upon the loud sounding of the cymbals and the loud end of the organs. Play it loud. Don't play it. Oh, Lord, lay me down to sleep. I pray my soul to keep and hang a sign on the front door. A salad? We don't need a salad. This thing come with a noise. It come with a sound. You take the noise they take the sound out of it. You ain't got nothing. That's what's wrong. There's too many gra There's too many churches are turning in the graveyards and cemeteries. There's too many preachers died. All they need is a bouquet of flowers on the church door. Get your head, honey. You'll never hang one on mine because thank God I've got the fire. I was born in it. I'm not going to live in the smoke. I'm going in deeper waters. Do you want to go with me? Let's go. Cap your hands for victory. Ezekiel said, I've hung around it now. Long enough I'm getting used to it. I like it. I like to see them clap their hands. I like to see them dance in spirit. 
they say he's dancing in the spirit. David danced in Jerusalem in, on Main Street, right in front of the king's palace. He danced with all of his might. And his wife come to the Venetian blinds and pulled him back, heard the noise and the shout going down in the streets. And she wanted to see what was going on. And look, what did she see but her husband out there dancing in the street. And he was a king. The king was dancing in the streets of Jerusalem. He'd been backslid. He lost the ark. He went back to God and found the ark. And when he found the ark, he led it in Jerusalem. And when it came in the city limits, old David got happy and got out in front of the ark and cut him a shine and danced a little jig and had a good time. Come on, honey. You might as well fold up like accordion and let's get things going. Not your way, but the way of the Lord. Oh, I feel it tonight. How many feel it tonight? God's moving in his place. Clap your hands for the victory. All right. You know what? He went upstairs to the palace. His wife said, I'm ashamed of you. I'm ashamed of you. He says, you better let me alone. I'll do worse next time. I'll do more vile next time. She said, how could you? He said, I'll dance a little harder, and I'll dance a little longer, and I'll dance a little stronger. Come on, honey. You ain't going to stop my dance. You ain't going to stop my running like Elijah. You ain't going to stop me from praising the Lord. How many feel it? And let everything that have breath, David said, praise the Lord. The whole 150th chapter of the book of Psalms. Praise ye the Lord on the first verse, the second verse of Psalms 150 and verse to praise ye the Lord. Psalm chapter 150 and verse 3 praise ye the Lord. Psalm chapter 150 and verse 4 said praise ye the Lord. I feel like that. And Psalm chapter 150 and verse 5 praise ye the Lord. Or Psalm chapter 150 and verse 6 he said let everything that have breath let everything that have breath let everything that have breath oh, praise the Lord. Oh I praise him into coming in. I praise him into going out. Though God slay me, yet I trust in the Lord. I'll wait until my change comes. Thank God. God's got a hedge around me, and the devil can't touch me. And I'm in the fire line, and I'm going in deep water. Don't you want to go with me? Honey, they delivered. They delivered for you and your house. You know why your house is not delivered? Because you're not delivered. How many believe this tonight? Amen. Praise God. You fire up and get up. And they'll fire up with you. See, I don't believe it. Well, what about the four lepers? One of them stood up and said, you can sit here if you want to, but I'm going on. And when number one got up, number two decided he better stand up. Oh, yeah, somebody will follow her. You take off running, somebody will follow her. You take off dancing, somebody will follow her. You take off praising God, somebody will follow her. Oh, hallelujah. I feel it tonight. And number three got up, a uh, leper, and looked at number two and said, where are you going? He said, I ain't going to sit here with just one old leper. I'm going with you. I'm going into the city. I'm going to get me something to eat. My God. And that number three got up and left that number four sitting there by himself. And number four said, where are all y'all going? I said, we going in the city said they'll kill us he said we're gonna die here anyhow and what have you got to lose to go in some deeper water you said they'll talk about me they're gonna talk about you anyhow if you don't shout they're gonna say boy she lost her shout she ain't got it but if you shout give them something to talk about really talk about and when you get turned on don't get half turned on get whole turned on and when you get a hold of it get a real whole lot of it and when you get in the water don't go halfway go all the way and let God bless you. Come on, saints of God. That's a, that's a trouble with so many a cold dead a church members that's lost a fire and the churches have lost a fire and the fire's gone out in the churches and the preachers have died and ain't preaching the word. They're not all oh, out the little mealy mouths. They come out of the seminaries and the cemeteries. All they need is burying. A burying. If you say amen, they'll send you out of the church if you get up to clap your hands or shout they'll send you to the basement I got news where my Holy Ghost is not welcome I'm not going either would you clap your hands I feel like I'm really preaching tonight 
Glory. Glory. Now, you know when them four lepers got in the city, God turned his generators on, amplifiers, turned them up, and them four lepers men was light. They lost weight, and they were nothing but skin and bones, but it sounded like thunder was coming in with thousands of soldiers and we can't whoop them. And you know when they come in, just in time, just in time, hallelujah, them Syrians had the table set. There was some fried chicken over there and there was some hot biscuits and there was some baby lammers and there was some rice and there was some chicken and there was some beef steak and them old boys pulled up and they come walking down the street and their old shoe soles sound like thunder like there were thousands of them and them Syrians got scared run off and left their silver and their gold and here was four old dead boys that rose up had enough guts to rise up and go in the city if you've got enough guts to go through the waters God can lead you through your waters tonight and lead you through your troubles trouble troubles get rid of your troubles leave your trouble behind go where there ain't no troubles come to Jesus he'll lead you through these waters how many believe God will meet your needs according to his riches would you clap your hands I feel the victory tonight and you know what I can hear I love this I can hear one of them old lepers say I ain't eat nothing in about three weeks or maybe 30 days I ain't had nothing pass me a piece of that beef steak down this way the seers had the table set and run off and left it got scared there's too many cowards in the church how many scared they're scared if I go to church and it's raining my my beautiful little hair get wet and I'll catch my deathly cold and my windshield wipers ain't working too good and I can't see honey prop that up prop that up with another one that don't stand I've heard that in for years better get old something new honey if the creeks rise I'll pull my car over and I'll wade through the waters I'll be like Ezekiel if I'm not here you better go down to the creek go ahead Sarah uh, when you are not here I better go look for you cause you'll be sick hallelujah are you with me tonight are you going in deeper waters are you going through the waters are you going to sit there and die are you going in the city and get food enough to eat oh there's plenty how many more wants to get up and say I'm getting out of here I'm going around this place I'm not going to die I'm going through the waters I'm going to get something I ain't never had do you want it tonight do you want it or do you want to sit there and just sit there and watch the others just keep watching just keep watching watchers get you a pair of those monoplers and watch them around the building hallelujah watch me watch me hallelujah bring your moving camera and get me on your camera i'll be more satisfied take it back to your friends and say this is the way dobbs acts this is the way church, Dobbs' church does. They praise God. They shout. They dance. They clap their hands. They have a good time out there. But you've got to admit it. The lame's coming here and the lame's walking and the dumb's talking and God's raising the dead, healing curable diseases are going back and the doctors examine them. There was a lady that come here uh, with a man the other night and he, he had that, uh, he had a disease that was incurable. Alzheimer's disease and he was just shaking she took him in the office and said hey it's embarrassing to carry him in the church I can't do nothing with him would you pray for him in the office I said I'll pray for him anywhere she stepped in my office and I laid hands on him and when I laid hands on him looked like he got the shaking a little worse looked like instead of helping him he got worse he would start shaking all over and she said what now I said just stick around it ain't over and it ain't over till it's over I believe as long as God's got a man and you got breath in your body I believe in praying I don't believe in burying you until you die. 
How many believe that? As long as there's breath in your body, there's hope. There's hope in the tree. If it can receive a scent of the branches of the waters, it'll bring forth bows and buds and bring forth a, a fruit. Come on, saints of God, you're sitting there tonight and I feel it preaching. I'm going to take you through the waters. You know why you ain't got no fruit on your trees? You're sitting there and letting them die. You're not working that tree. You got to come to church. If you don't work, you don't eat. You sit there and watch the rest of them shout and rest of them uh, have a good time. But if you don't join the crowd, uh, you'll die. You'll dry up. You'll dwindle away. Honey, you got to join the crowd and get amongst them and go through the waters. And when they get ready to go through, let the angel get you by the hand and lead you through the waters. Honey, if he gets me by the hand where he leads me, uh, there I follow. I'm going to shout victory. I'm going to praise God until Gable picks up the trumpet and come back. The greatest trumpet player the world ever knew is by the name of Gabriel. He's coming back uh, blowing the trumpet. Oh, hallelujah. My God, uh, when the saints go marching in uh, near my God to thee, what a friend we have uh, in Jesus. Uh, and old David's going to get up uh, and pull out that harp uh, with 10,000 strings. Uh, and when David plays that harp, uh, I'm going to join him. Uh, I'm going through the waters. Uh, I'm going to do like David. Uh, I'll dance in the street. Uh, I'll dance with all my might. Honey, this is powerful. Would you clap your hands? Uh, I know what I feel. Do you want to go uh, through the waters? Let's go. God, shout it. Shout it. Shout it. Shout it. Shout it. Stand to your feet. Raise your hands and leap for joy. While Morganist comes, praise God. In the name of Jesus, praise God. Hallelujah. Raise your hands. Let's go through the waters together. Hallelujah. Wave your hands in the Holy Ghost. Let's go through the waters together. Thank God. Pick your feet up and put them down and say, I'm going through the waters. The angels got me by the hand and got to hold the line and I'm going to my knees. I'm going to my loins. And when I get to my loins, I want the angel to take me by the hand and lead me into that river of living water that'll never run dry. I can swim all I want to swim. I can run all I want to run. I can leap for joy all I want to leap for joy. I can clap my hands all I want to clap my hands. I can praise the Lord all I want to. Honey, you wait till I get to heaven and get these number 10s on the streets of gold. There ain't nobody going to tell me what to do, when to do. God has saved my soul and took me to a paradise and took me through the waters. Are you going to stand there and not do nothing? My God, are you bogged down? Are you ready to go? I can shout on a short notice. I can run with Elijah. I can dance with David. Praise the Lord. Come on. Wave your hands. If you got any hands, if you don't wave your arms, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Leap for joy. Leap for joy. Honey, you're going through the waters now. You ain't clapping your hands. Come on and get in the spirit. He's still alive. God's not dead. Oh, he's still alive. Oh, God's not dead. He's still alive. I can feel him in my hands. Feel him in my You ain't clapping your hands. Come on. Feel him in my heart. Feel him in my soul. I feel him all over me. Go around this church. Go through the waters. Go around this church. Go through the waters. He's still alive. Oh, God's not dead. He's still alive. I can feel him in my hands. Feel him in my feet. Feel him in my heart. Feel him in my soul. I feel him all over me. I said, God's not dead. He's still alive. God's not dead. He's still alive. Oh, God's not dead. He's still alive. Go down and sit around. Somebody come down the center aisle. Feel him in my feet. Feel him in my heart. Feel him in my soul. I feel him all over me. I say Somebody God's get in the center aisle. He's still alive. God's not dead. He's 
while you walk and talk to God. While you walk and talk to God. God's not dead. He's still alive. God's not dead. He's still alive. I can feel him in my head. Take a wall. Come on. Feel him in my heart. Feel him in my soul. I feel him on my Tell God what you want while you're walking. I want you talking. Tell God what you want. Go ahead, Maisie. Get what you want from God. Get what you want. Get anything you want. Get all you want. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. Shout it. I know what God's doing for you. Come on. Praise the Lord. 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 Lift your hands. Let God give you a miracle. There's a prayer that God's fixing to answer for you. God's fixing to answer a prayer for you. God said the answer's on the way. God said your answer's on the way. You lost something, you'll get it back. Don't be running no more. While you're standing there, tap in your hands, close your eyes, and look up and talk to God. Talk to God, tell him what you want. Tell him what you want. Tell him what you want. He said, I'll give you your heart desire. Tell him what you want. Get it right now. The doors are open. The windows are up. Get it right now. They come in some changes around your house. Take it or leave it. God said you better take it tonight. Obey his spirit right now and move in the Holy Ghost. Pick your feet up, put them down. Walk and talk. Walk and talk. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Who's stopping you? What's hindering you tonight? Get in that deeper water. Let's go do the waters. Come on, saints. You're not going through the waters. Pick them up and put them down. Walk and talk. Well, I've never been in a service. No better than you're in right now. Honey, you're in top. Get on top of it and let's go. Come on. You're not walking enough. You're not talking enough. You gotta walk and talk. You gotta walk and talk.
raise your hands and begin praising God. Begin praising God. In Jesus' name. God's going to bless all your children. In the name of Jesus. God said you've been having a time. You've been begging. You've been crying. You've been praying. But God said I'm going to turn it around. You will not have to cry and beg. They'll beg. They'll cry. Well, hallelujah. Said you'll be a winner, not a loser. You keep shouting and said you'll put them on their knees. You'll be taller than trees. God said that that belongs to you. He said tell you one scripture. That that is thine is mine. Don't leave your gifts. But that's my, please, please, I got an extra gift that I hadn't told you about. He said that it is thine is mine, but mine is thine. God said, you're going to trade good for evil, but you'll be a winner. God said, you've got no cooperation. It don't take that. It just takes the Holy Ghost. And it's in you and all over you. Keep on shouting. He the more come my tie. You're a winner and not a loser. God said you're talented. You're gifted. Hallelujah. You do it when you don't feel like it. And you do it when you feel like it. Just keep on doing it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God said I, I sent you here. I bless you to coming in and going out. He said, I prospered you under this prophet. And I'll still you, continue Jesus. to prosper Hallelujah. you. Yes, Lord. Get it. God said, son, his hands upon you. Shout it, sister. Shout it. Said his words real. It's alive. You found the church. You found something real. Don't you run off and leave it. It's yours. The anointing. Brother, God sent you here. And God is going to bless you to coming in and going out. And... Among your friends that's disagreeing, it don't make no difference. You've got God. God's greater than your friends. Forget it. God said, you're recuperating. You'll be stronger than you were. God said, I brought you out to bring you in to eat the fat of the land. Stay and get your word of prophecy. This ain't your word. This ain't your word of prophecy. God said, I blessed you and raised you up. God said, I give you the pedal this morning. I give you the rose petal. It was one of the mu most beautiful red petals that I ever seen come off of a rose. I give it to you this morning. It's yours. Use it. God said you're stuck to the prophet. Now I'll stick to you. God said you found it. You found it. You found it. That's all he told me to tell you. You found it. Don't lose it. Praise the Lord. God said, your friends, your friends will desert you. But said, they're not your friends. He said, tell you, he was your friend. Said, your friends will get you in trouble. God had to change. She emptied her purse. She'll be blessed. Honey, the devil can't get his hands on you. I don't care how hard he tries. Turn around, put your hand towards me. You're a child of the Holy Ghost. And you're going to prosper. And your future years are going to be the happy years. God said you working closely with someone that I'm going to give you a soul for your hire. And there's a healing in your body you need. And there's a problem you can't solve. I'm going to give you all three of them. He gave me the last. God told me to give you this. Go your way. Well, God bless you. You're blessed. God said there's enough hell around you to start a new heaven. But God said that don't waver you. You're just what you are. Thank God. God said healing is the children's bread. And God said I multiply your bread. I turn your water into wine. 
I'll anoint you and I'll lift up windows ain't never been pulled up before. I'll give them to you. Watch and see. You've been faithful over a few things and I can't help but to tell you. God said, I'll make you ruler over many, 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 many things. Boy, ain't that wonderful? That stuck to my hands. God said, I'm going to bless you. Bring you out to bring you in. God said, arthritis has got it in your joints. It's got in your ankles. It's got in your spine. It's got in the back of your neck until it's getting in your skull. But God said, I'll never allow arthritis to take over one of my little ones. I'll never do it. You belong to me. I'll shake it loose like I shake it loose from Sister Dobbs. He the most come out. When her fingers, she lost her fingernails. They come back and her fingers straightened out. God still God. I'll take your case. So they walk with God. He'll walk with you now. Don't be one thing in the church and be something else when you get, get to school. Be the same good little boy. I'm going to agree with you on this dollar that God will swing the gates and the doors open to the prison to your husband. Lawyers can't lose him. You can't get him out. But God can swing the gates open to the prison and let him come home. If you believe it, wave your hands. I've never had a day no better than today. I doubt I'd even go to bed tonight. Walk and praise God. After this morning, I went home and me and my wife, she wanted to replay the video. She said, you don't know it, but you've reached me. She said, I've heard you preach. For 41 years, but said, you preached beside yourself this morning. She said, play it again for me. I played it again. She said, turn it on again. I want some more of it. How many want more? You can get that video. See, see him tonight. It's put together. That's the good part about it. The gospel. Now, truthful. Don't make no difference between you and God. You, how many of you the other night got one of these things that my God shall supply all your needs that goes on the refrigerator? Keep food in, food in your refrigerator. My God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory. How many?